lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here and today I have for you a quick little video that I thought I'd put together where I'm going to be introducing you to some of my best friends. In the last couple months I've been incredibly busy with so many amazing vintage events which has been a true privilege but I haven't had too much time for filming and creating content for my YouTube channel. I'll be focusing on making time to actually create more content for you because it is something that I really do enjoy and I really do love communicating with all of you. For today's video I'm really excited as it's going to be a video featuring my beautiful dogs. I call them puppies though they are both seven this year. The first of my fur babies we'll be meeting today is Tequila. She is a beautiful rescue puppy that we've had for quite a while now. We are not actually sure of what breed she is as we rescued her. She is mostly hairless apart from her head and her legs. And if we take her out, quite a few people will ask if she is unwell or if she has a skin condition. But this is just the way she looks and we absolutely adore her just the way she is. My second fur baby that I would love to introduce you to is already at my feet, pouring, trying to get up. And I featured him in many of my videos already, as he'll quite often just come and sit on my lap. So here we have Noodle, or Noodle Pants as he's commonly known at home. Noodle just celebrated his seventh birthday and Tequila's birthday will be in September, which is very exciting. For me, my puppies have a really special place in my heart. They're so kind and caring and they're always there at the end of the day when you need them. I also work predominantly from home, so they are pretty much like my workmates. They will come sit with me and if I'm having a break, we'll have a little cuddle session together. Between dogs and cats, I would definitely say I'm a dog person. I do adore cats, but we currently do not own a pet cat. I would adore one, but Matthew is a little bit allergic and he's not the biggest fan of them. So I'm hoping one day to convince him. But for now, I am perfectly content with my beautiful babies. One of the fabulous things about Noodle and Tequila is they have been best friends. We adopted them probably six months apart and since then they have been absolutely inseparable. Quite a funny story about them is when we first adopted Tequila because she was a little bit different and we weren't sure on her history. We had let them out to go to the bathroom in the morning and when I brought them back in Noodle was covered in blood and I was so concerned that our new rescue dog was vicious and had possibly attacked Noodle. But upon looking him over, I realized there was no cuts or lesions on his body. And then I brought Tequila in and realized she had cut the very edge of her ear on a rose bush. And this had led to it bleeding quite profusely and I was really quite concerned as it was literally squirting up the walls, as horrible as that sounds. So we rushed her to the vet and thankfully it was not serious. Her being hairless just means she's more prone to injury, but we're so glad that they love each other and it all worked out for the best so they can be together. Some fun facts about the puppies are Tequila, as she's hairless, she adores blankets. She adores wearing jackets and jumpers, so if we put something on Noodle, she'll jump around and act quite jealous. She's a bit more of an independent dog, so she'll go sit in her bed in the bedroom, or she'll go about her daily business and occasionally come up for cuddles. While Noodle is a lot more playful, he loves being around people a lot more, he loves toys and being as close to you as you possibly can, he'll follow you around room to room if possible. They're both more inside dogs I would definitely say. 
They don't mind going outside, but they definitely prefer being inside, having cuddles and being around us, which is just gorgeous. Tequila's going back to bed. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video. It's something a little bit different, but I thought it would be something you guys might enjoy. I'm hoping to get back to creating regular videos that'll be out every Thursday or Friday and also hopefully featuring one or two daily vintage attire videos a week as well would be absolutely amazing. I do have a lot of vintage events on in the next couple months. I've got a few burlesque shows that I'm producing as well as taking part in the fabulous Miss Burlesque contest which is on May 12th. As always, I love you all so much and Noodle definitely is sending his love out to you too. If you'd like to stay up to date with all my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you all real soon. Mm -hmm.